In this video, we will learn how Elasticsearch indexes our data so that it can result, return us the result set in extremely low latency. That is, it can quickly return the results that we are looking for. Apart from that, we will also see how the search results in Elasticsearch are ranked according to relevance. So what is indexing? Essentially, indexing is the technique in which Elasticsearch builds an index out of all the documents that we give it for indexing and then when we give it a search query it searches in this index and as a result of this it can return us all the results with extremely low latency what is a document a document is just the basic unit of data in Elasticsearch what is an inverted index now all of you have seen the back of a book where the index is given in that many terms are given and the page numbers on which those terms might be found are given. So this is exactly the kind of index that Elasticsearch builds so that it can quickly return us the search results. Let us dissect the algorithm which is followed for creating this index. First of all, Elasticsearch will be provided with a set of all documents and it will tokenize the contents of each and every document. Tokenize meaning it will split the text into different words. Then it will create a unique set of all these words which will be in sorted order. So there will be no repetition of terms. Only unique terms will be there in this set. The terms in this set will also be normalized. They might be stemmed. And various kind of NLP techniques might be applied on it, which is fully configurable by the user. And many stop words might have been removed from this unique set. After that, with each term, we will associate the list of documents in which those terms are found. So you can see how easy it makes the search. Uh, suppose I want to search for something, say, element. I can, I can see that in what all documents element is there and I can just quickly return the entire list of those documents. So this is how easy it makes it. It is similar to the index at the back of a book. Let us quickly see an example of the same. Suppose I have document 1 in which the contents are I am learning the cool stuff. In document 2 the contents are I am learning to learn. The inverted index will be built according to this algorithm and it will look something similar to am being in document 1 and 2. Cool will be in document 2. Document 1, I am sorry. I will be in document 1 and document 2. Learn, which is the root word for learning, will be present in both document 1 and document 2 and so on. Now let us quickly see how the search results are sorted according to the relevance. To understand this, we really need to understand a few basic terms. Term frequency refers to the frequency of a term in a given document, so it is document specific. Document frequency refers to the frequency of a particular term across all documents in the corpus, so it is corpus specific. IDF is just the mathematical reciprocal of document frequency. Relevance is just the product of TF and IDF or TF divided by DF. Let us see an example for this as well. Suppose I am searching for the term learn. Term frequency in document 1, you know what the contents of document 1 were. We saw it on the last page. It was I am learning the cool stuff. So in that learn occurs one time. For document 2, the same TF becomes equal to because the content of the document were I am learning to learn. The IDF across all the documents is 1 by 3. So the relevance of the term learn for the first document will be 1 by 3 which is 0.33 and for the second document it will be 2 by 3 which is 0.66 and hence Relevance of the term learn is greater for document 2 than for document 1 and hence document 2 will be listed first in the search results and document 1 
will be listed later. And this is as expected because since learn occurs twice in document 2, when we search the ter term learn, it is more relevant in document 2 because it occurs there multiple times. At the same time, you might have the question that what happens to common terms such as the? So this IDF is there exactly to decrease the relevance of such terms. If you have a longer search query, say learning to code, then the relevance of each of the terms will be taken separately and they will be added and then the search results will be ranked. For sake of simplicity, I have skipped on some parts of the scoring function while keeping the core of it intact. You can quickly head to the elastic.co website where you can see this link practical scoring function. I will link it in the description below and here you can see the actual formula. So here we see that TF is being multiplied by the square of IDF. There is a term called boost which say can give the boost to a particular term. Suppose I want to increase the relevance of the term learn and I want to keep the relevance of the term code smaller, I can boost it. There are normalization factors. Then it does a summation for all terms T in the query Q and then it does some normalization and some coordination and gives us the final score. The essential core of it is same, the product of IDF and TF. I highly recommend you check out this documentation and read through it because the best way of learning anything is always to go through the documentation. All the best guys. That's it folks for this time and I hope now you have a better understanding of how retrieval as well as indexing algorithms are working. If you find the content of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you find the content of this channel helpful, please subscribe. Also, you can let me know in the comments below what you have learned, something I might have missed out, any, any sort of feedback you might have, please let me know in the comments below what you guys might want to learn in the future and how I can improve the quality of this channel. Thank you.